Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to really read through the full article here, certainly give you a very thorough overview. There's a link in the description. It is a tragedy. Um, two people have been stabbed in a Target store in downtown Los Angeles. Both are in critical condition. Frankly, we'll, we'll look through the details in a moment, but they both sound like... Um, they're touch and go they're both in critical condition one of the victims is a nine-year-old boy the other a 25 year old asian woman they were stabbed by a homeless man who has been killed so i'm gonna have a look through the details a homeless man has stabbed two people inside of a target store in downtown los angeles one of the victims was a nine-year-old boy we don't know his name the particular target is located on 7th Street and Figuero Street in Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles. This occurred around 6.20 p.m. Tuesday evening. Apparently, the homeless man grabbed a butcher knife, which is on the store in Target. So we know what Target is. They sell all kinds of home wares. Uh, this scumbag mental homeless man, psychopathic homeless man, um, grabbed a butcher knife from a shelf and attacked his victims randomly. His first victim was a nine-year-old boy who was on his own. He was separated from his mother. A nine-year-old boy. This homeless man presumably grabbed the nine-year-old boy and told the boy that he was going to stab him and that he was going to kill him. This homeless man told a nine-year-old boy that he was going to stab him and kill him. Apparently he said this multiple times. And remember, he's just taken a butcher knife, a butcher knife, from one of the shelves. Subsequently, he did stab that young boy, nine-year-old boy, in the back. The nine-year-old boy has suffered deep lacerations in his left shoulder, He's deemed to be in critical condition. Um, both victims are in critical condition. They were both taken to the hospital. The nine-year-old has stabilized. Uh, but since he sustained some potential neurological damage, he continues to be listed as critical. So the nine-year-old boy that was stabbed in the back that suffered deep lacerations to his shoulder, I think it said, Thankfully, he has stabilized, but he's still considered to be in critical condition due to potential neurological damage. So we hope and we pray that this nine-year-old boy is able to make a full recovery. We hope, we pray um, for the well-being of his family, for his mother that was in the store but wasn't directly with him at that moment in time, which is perfectly normal. You know, it's a nine-year-old boy, nine-year-old boys. You know, they're allowed to wander around a store. It's, it's safe. It ought to be safe. There's no way that the mother could be blamed for this, um, for, for not being closer to her son. This is the act of an absolute lunatic. The homeless man's second victim was a 25-year-old Asian woman. Not sure if the race is relevant. Perhaps it is. We know that there have been a lot of attacks. I'm going to say this. Perhaps this is controversial. Perhaps this is somewhat misplaced. But we know that I believe in particular in New York. Again, this target is in downtown Los Angeles. But there have been a lot of attacks from black people on Asian people. There's been numerous attacks over the last two years extremely violent attacks we've seen it we've all seen clips we've seen multiple articles time and time again um, of black people attacking asian people we've seen that that's a hate crime this may or may not be a hate crime we don't know but the article is telling us that the attacker's second victim was a 25 year old asian woman and forgive me my god forgive me she was stabbed brutally in the chest stabbed with a butcher knife in the chest 
whilst at the store in Target, at the Target store, minding her own business, trying to buy a few knickknacks to improve her life, to, you know, to maybe some necessities, whatever it happens to be. She's there in a store. CCTV cameras all around, no doubt. And a crazed lunatic that had already stabbed a nine-year-old boy comes up to her and stabs her in the chest with a butcher's knife that he just picked up from the store shelves. I mean, this is horrendous. The 25-year-old Asian woman stabbed in the chest. Thankfully, some good Samaritans pulled the 25-year-old Asian woman into a pharmacy. I'm not sure if that's a part of the Target or a separate store. Don't know, but either way, some good Samaritans did what they could. They pulled the 25-year-old Asian woman into a pharmacy. They closed the gate to further protect the, the Asian woman and to protect themselves as well from this lunatic homeless man that's walking around stabbing random victims. Thankfully, a security officer employed by the store, employed by Target, uh, confronts this lunatic. Um, we don't know too much about the confrontation between the security officer and the homeless man. Um, but we are told that the homeless man has been declared dead at the hospital. He was taken to a hospital, declared dead. So I'm going to say good. I like the fact that this homeless man... Well, I mean, the fact that he's homeless is relevant. I mean, we, we do know that homeless people... Uh, a lot of... A very high percentage of homeless people have a range of different issues. Drug use which may well be very relevant in this case, and also mental health issues, significant mental health issues. So if we're to be realistic, if we're to be honest, then we can say that the homeless man almost certainly was either on drugs or had very severe mental health issues, which frankly seemingly were not being adequately looked after by the authorities, by the government, by the community and uh, it's resulted in two victims being stabbed and then the actual suspect dying. Um, well done, good Samaritans. Well done, the security officer. I hope that nobody faces any charges. We don't know if uh, the homeless man died due to self-inflicted wounds, perhaps. Or perhaps the security officer had, or somebody else had to take action into their own hands. In which case, if that is the case, well done. If that is the case, those people would be heroes. Those people would have almost certainly saved other victims. Going back to the 25-year-old Asian woman that was brutally stabbed in the chest... She is in worse condition. She is not good. She's in critical condition. We're told at the point of publishing this article, and the link to the article is in the description, we're told that she was entering surgery at the point that this article was being published to stop the bleeding encountered by this deep stab wound to the front of her chest. So we've got to give our best prayers to this Asian lady, 25 years of age again, minding her own business in the store, in Target, buying a few knickknacks, whatever it happens to be. She ought to be in a place of safety. We believe that we're safe when we're in these stores. Uh, why wouldn't we be safe? We're in community. It's daylight this happened around 6 20 p.m tuesday so early evening you know this isn't out about at 3 30 a.m in a downtown alley this is out and about in the early evening in a major store 
and children and women are being stabbed. Hopefully they both pull through. Full condolences to the families of both victims. Thankfully, there were no more victims. Again, uh, perhaps some of the people in the store were heroes. We don't know the full details, but that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to wrap things up pretty much, but I'm also going to throw out just a couple of extra comments. What? Where do we go from here? What happens from here? So um, are we going to be adjusting how the mentally ill are managed? No, we're not going to do that. The governments, the authorities are going to continue doing the lackluster jobs that they have done for decades. And I'm not just pointing down to the authorities within downtown Los Angeles. I mean, this is like a, a worldwide issue, pretty much, or certainly within the Western nations. The authorities, yes, those governments, those local governments that we all pay our taxes to, what the F are they doing? Not enough is the answer. They're not doing enough that is effective in a whole variety of different ways. I didn't really intend to get overly political, but I personally have a lot of disrespect for councils, local government. I've got a huge amount of disrespect for them. They're staffed by hundreds or thousands of bureaucrats, by administrators that do what? Twiddle their effing thumbs all day long. Where's the actual action? You know, and even if they did have, uh, even if they were to build a new mental health institute in this town or the other, guess what? The build, the cost of that building will be grossly inflated. It will cost tens of millions of dollars, no doubt. The builders will be making huge profits from the building of uh, such a facility. All of the staff, all of the, the management will be overpaid. There will be committees and bureaucrats all the way through. I mean, there's just... I know I'm going on a massive rant here, but I'm, I'm just so annoyed by the world, really. I'm so annoyed. People don't do things properly. There's so much inadequacy, so much inefficiency through, throughout really all aspects of life. Uh, but to me, I'm finding it most egregious when it comes from the government because the government are sucking our tax. You know, we, we've got to pay whatever the percentage is, 40%, 50%, 60% of our income to the government. Okay, that's fine. We, we can do that. That's a fair enough deal if you give us quality of life in return. But if you make it such that when we go to our local high street store, children and women are getting stabbed, that's not good enough, governments. Do something about it. Start being effective. Start being efficient with your mental health management. I'm not going to blame the security. Target had security staff. That's good. You can't blame them for that. I'm not even going to blame the police. You can't have police every single place. That's that's unrealistic. I'm sure there was CCTV footage throughout the uh, building, the Target store. So I think I wouldn't blame Target themselves. I wouldn't blame the police. I'd blame the uh, management of mental health. The, the management or lack thereof of the homeless. But I'm also going to say that there are going to be other changes, aren't there? Retail stores. What the heck's going to happen with retail stores? We know that brick and mortar retail stores have been in decline for decades since the, you know, the upsurge of online retail. Amazon is completely dominant. Malls have been collapsing across the West. Um... Target, I think I saw another headline today, I did, uh, saying that Target has lost $400 million due to organized criminal theft. $400 million. Target are just going to close their stores. We've seen riots, perhaps BLM riots. We've seen multiple riots where Target stores and various other stores are completely ransacked destroyed utterly all of their stock 
all of their machinery, their displays, absolutely everything destroyed. Retail stores are going to change. There's not going to be any more retail stores. I'm telling you. Retail is in decline and it's going to be in rapid decline because the retail stores are all of these corporate stores aren't they we, we don't see mom and pop stores not in america not in australia not in england of course they exist but all of them are poised to go bankrupt at any moment the next minute there's a a, a short lockdown the the mom and pop stores are going to close you know when there's increased in rents the mom and pop stores are going to close. Really, retail is dominated by these established corporate franchises, whatever it happens to be, Target, Walmart, Starbucks. You know, these kind of organizations that have billions of dollars pumping through their economic veins. And they are going to withdraw. Target are going to turn around and say, hey, America, You've stolen billions of dollars worth of stuff from our stores such that we are now making huge losses. We cannot continue to be the business that we have been for decades. It is not viable. We will go bust in a few years if we were to continue. So with that, America, we are going to close all of our stores. Go F yourselves. Sure, you can now buy from... Uh, target.com but that's it we don't want to have stores in public areas where people come in and steal whatever they want where people come in and attack each other where we have to call the police every other minute due to one incident or other because the public members of the general public are walking in our stores with criminal intent we're not going to do it anymore. Target are going to withdraw. They're no longer going to be a retail store. I guarantee it. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but it will happen. It's not just going to be Target. It's going to be the rest of them. Maybe not all of them. Okay, so you'll just have one last, one last company standing. It's probably going to be Walmart. So yeah, there's going to be changes. Everything is going to be locked down in a store. You're not going to be able to walk around and pick up a butcher's knife. You're not going to be able to walk around and pick up a PlayStation game. Everything is going to be under lock and key. Everything. They're not going to be retail stores in the way we know it. They're going to be like, they're going to appear to be like prison cells, warehouses, um, warehouse prison cells, pretty much. There's going to be changes from this kind of thing. But I've gone on a massive rant. I'm not sure if any of you guys are still here. If you are, thank you. I'm going to wrap things up. Again, full condolences to the victims. We hope we pray both the 9-year-old boy and the 25-year-old woman who happens to be Asian. They've both suffered horrendously. And we both hope and pray that they pull through. And that they are able to make full recoveries in due course. We're not aware of any GoFundMes. I would think that... Both families would uh, be perfectly justified in having GoFundMes to cover their medical costs. And uh, for the woman, presumably she's not going to be in a position to work. So that's going to considerably disrupt their financial status. Um, so look, thoughts and prayers all around. I'm going to wrap things up. Take care.